What kind of leads would you expect in this uh, this matchup here, especially with the uh, restricted Pokemon? Right. I know uh, Dane. Dane is is very fond of leading. Uh, is, is, uh, bleh, very fond of leading Mewtwo. Yeah. Um, he likes to get it out get it out early. Uh, put out big damage. Uh, gen generally, uh, chip things down for it for his uh, for his Groudon in the back to mm -hmm. just come in and just absolutely clean up. Um, he likes to lead off with the uh, Scrafty as well. Get off Fake Outs. Get off uh, Super Fangs. Uh, intimidates right. things like that. Um, Evan, on the other hand, generally ha uh, has liked to lead things like uh, Kangaskhan next to either Palkia, Talonflame, Thunderous. Uh, we don't see him end up end up leading with uh, Kyogre very often. Right. Um, Kyogre, he generally likes to keep in the back, especially against a team like like Dane's that that does have Groudon. Mm -hmm. uh, assuming that, that Evan is able to get off to a a a early start, um, so maybe, maybe KO some of some of Dane's Pokemon. Um, if he can if he can end up with that with that late game weather. Uh, Evan would be in a very good position to win the game. Right, so trying to keep that the weather control in the back for, for Evan there is going to be key in this game? Yeah, think? absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, so we do see uh, both players selecting their uh, four Pokemon on each side, uh, and not three this time for Evan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, a pretty good choice by Evan to, to actually bring four Pokemon this time. Yeah. Uh, as we do see, he leads with the uh, Thunderous Kangaskhan here. Uh, Going to be threatening with the uh, possible uh, Fake Out and Thunder Wave there. Uh, as we do see Dane leading with the uh, Groudon and Mewtwo. Um, actually deciding to lead with Groudon this time yeah. as opposed to leaving it in the back. Yeah, pretty interesting choice there to, to, to just throw uh, Groudon out there right right at the beginning. Yeah. Um, it's it's in a pretty good spot here. Um, we saw uh, that in on stream before that it is it is carrying Rock Slide, uh, uh, Fire Punch, and uh, Precipice Blades. So right. um, fully physical. Yeah, fully physical carrying Rock Slide, not Stone Edge. That's important because um, the Thunders is not immediately threatened by a KO. Mm -hmm. um, can afford to try and fire off a uh, a. Thunder Wave into the into the Mewtwo slot. Groudon here though isn't overly threatened though by by uh, Evan's side as well. Thunder is not going to touch it for, for much at all. Uh, Kangaskhan here um, can fire off a fake out into it. Can fire off some double edges, and, double edges and low kicks, uh, but not but definitely going to be a a two hit KO at the best with that double edge. Right. Uh, we do actually see Thunder is switching back here, uh, not wanting to take any damage here. Uh, Talonflame coming in it, into its place, as we also see Groudon switching back, uh, Sun fading away into uh, Dane's Scrafty, which is going to be getting that Intimidate drop onto uh, both of Evan's physical attackers here. Um, we're gonna see the uh, Kangaskhan opting to Mega Evolve here. I'm uh, gonna see what kind of uh, attacking options it decides to go for here. Um, we also do see that Mewtwo is not Mega as well. Um, Fake Out going into the uh, Scrafty here. Uh, not gonna be uh, too much of a factor for this turn. Psy Strike coming out from Mewtwo. Uh, going right into the Talonflame slot. Gonna be able to take it out in one hit there on the switch in. Uh, uh, excellent turn from Dane's end. Yeah, uh, Dane mind gamed him hard there. Uh, Groudon was in a good position, so so he read uh, Evan Evan wanted to fake out the Groudon, not allow it to do much damage. Um, uh, Dane read that perfectly. Uh, switch and scrap. He gets the minus one. He ends up faking out the the scrapty on the switch in. Now he gets fake out this turn. Psy Strike goes into the thunders. Just straight up KOs Talonflame. Yeah. Um, very very good. Uh, very good turn there from Dane. Yeah, reading reading into that fake out uh, definitely helped him out there. Mm -hmm. um, so what what do you think uh, Evan can bring to this? Oh, he, he actually opts to bring Thunderous. So yeah, he has to bring Thunderous back in here. Pretty good call. Um, it might honestly just be too too late at this point. Uh, Dane Dane's playing with the with the Pokemon advantage. Um, a lot of the things with with when you, when you have uh, uh, Groudon versus Kyogre matchups, uh, you want to be up early mm -hmm. because. Because uh, you, you want to be able to to bring in your your primal late game and have and have uh, weather control. Right. Um, so as your Dane is very up, uh, he has the fake out pressure with the Scrafty this turn. Um, so we see Mewtwo switch out though. Yeah, uh, Mewtwo switching out into Dane's Groudon here, possibly predicting a, a electric type move from that uh, Thunderous there. Um, Scrafty. Uh, not not opting to fake out this turn. Uh, Thunder Wave going into that Groudon there. Uh, Double Edge going into Groudon as well. Um, gonna be doing a decent amount of damage there. Uh, at minus one, unfortunately, not enough to uh, 
uh, two hit KO there. Knockoff actually going into the Thunderous, uh, revealing an Expert Belt. Yeah, Expert Belt, not the most common item on Thunderous. Uh, you usually see Citrus Berry, Focus Sash, Lumberry in this format, but um, uh, Dane here, uh, good switch into the Groudon. Um, we see that Double Edge is going to be a three hit KO onto Groudon. Yeah, wow. At, at, at minus one. That is a bulky Groudon. <laughs> Yeah, as we do see the the 207 HP stat, I believe that's that's high for Groudon. Yeah, that is a that is a max HP. As we get superpower from the Thunderous going into the Scrafty, still not KOing it though. Yeah, it gets the attack and defense drop. However, um, Double Edge uh, from Kangaskhan once again opting to double into the Scrafty, picking up the knockout there uh, before it's able to fire off any more attacks. Uh, gonna get a little bit of recoil damage there. Rock Slide coming out from Groudon here. Gonna be doing a lot of damage to that Thunderous there, able to pick up the knockout there and uh, force Evan to bring his last Pokemon to this game. Yeah, this is definitely not a good position at all for Evan. Um, uh, assuming that he has that he has Kyogre in the back, actually he has Palkia. Um, Palkia. Oh. I don't think Evan brought enough ways to deal with Groudon in this game. Uh, he brought he brought Talonflame, Kangaskhan, and Palkia. I don't think that's in any world that that, that is enough to to be able to deal with uh, Groudon. Uh, Palkia, we, we, we've seen its moves are uh, Hydro Pump, Spatial Rend, and... Uh, flamethrower? Yeah, and Flamethrower. And Protect. Yeah, and Protect. So it doesn't have a means of of, of, of one-hit KOing Groudon. Right. Um, uh, assuming that Groudon has its sun up, which it will because uh, Evan did not bring Kyogre. I don't think Talonflame was the, was the right bring to this match. Yeah. Um, at, or at the very least, switching it in and, and, and just letting it, letting it get KO'd for free. Mm -hmm. uh, Definitely not ideal there for Evan. Uh, would Mewtwo be able to survive Sucker Punch here? Uh, at minus one, I believe it is It is very much able to survive Sucker Punch. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll get to see that here, possibly. Uh, Psy Strike actually going into the Kangaskhan slot here. Going to be able to uh, pick up the knockout there easily. Uh, no Sucker Punch from um, Evan's side either. Um, as we do see the Spatial Run going into the Groudon Protect here. Um, so, uh, two, uh, three, one advantage for Dane right now. Um, yeah, this is very much in Dane's favor for game one. Uh, he's, he's positioned me too well to get, get knockouts. Scrafty did, did his job. I put the Kang in at, at minus one. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a good opportunity though for Evan to gain information on Calx. Uh, minus one double edge plus spatial run. Will it, will it, will, will that be enough to KO Dane's Groudon? Oh, just barely hanging on with 3 HP there, uh, Groudon not uh, falling to that spatial run. So we do see uh, Precipice Blades finishing off the match here. Uh, yeah. Game one going to Dane. Yeah, very decisive victory there from Dane. Um, he j he just he just he just got the lead early and just did not did not let up on on Evan. Uh, right. Evan made a pretty questionable choice to double the Scrafty. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know that there was much else that he could have done at this point. Yeah. Um, not bringing Kyogre was a huge mistake. I honestly think um, uh, Evan's play for game two likely has to be to sort of set up Trick Room with uh, Cresselia, try to uh, skill swap around. Um, Try to try to maintain rain. Take out Kyogre early. Take out Mewtwo early. Yeah. Uh, as soon as you take out uh, Dane's Mewtwo and Kyogre or and or Groudon rather, um, a, a lot of his offense is is pretty lacking. Scrafty is not doing a ton of damage on its own. It does have mm -hmm. respectable damage output between uh, Super Fang uh, and Low Kick and Knockoff. Um, but it's not doing a ton of damage. So uh, instead of the Scrafty, then uh, what would you suggest that Dane brings? The Dane, Dane, I would assume, um, likely uh, Dane's a very smart player. Um, I would, I would expect him to adapt to Evan probably going for the the trick room option and not the, the right. thunderous this time around. Uh, expe I would expect Dane to to try to bring Amoongus to try to uh, contain trick room effectively and and fire off those those slow spores. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, I think I think I think we'll see we'll see Evan making making smart adjustments, but I think I, I think we'll see Dane adjust to to Evan's adjustments here. Right. If I had to predict what they're both going to going to bring, I would expect uh, Evan to bring something like a uh, Kangaskhan, Cresselia, Palkia, Kyogre to this game. Okay. Whereas from Dane, we'll we'll we'll, pr we'll probably still see uh, Mewtwo and Groudon. I'll uh, probably see a, a Moongus and Scrafty as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that does make a lot more sense. Uh, like, how do you think Evan would lead though? Evan Evan wants to wants to get Trick Room up a hundred percent. If he wants to try to to uh, to bait out something from the Amoongus, um, he could try to uh, say lead uh, Kangaskhan Cresselia, switch out Cresselia immediately into into Palkia and threaten uh, and threaten Flamethrower mm -hmm. onto, onto the Amoongus. Uh, that would be that would be a 
pretty smart play that he could do. Um, yeah. But, uh, Evan has to play this very well to win. Uh, Dane's Dane's team has a, has a very good matchup here. Um, as we do see, uh, Nave issuing the challenge here. Uh, Kangaskhan and Kyogre coming out for uh, Evan's side, not opting to uh, set up that trick room right away. Uh, as we do also see the double intimidate uh, lead for, uh, of uh, Scrafty Salamence from Dane here. Uh, gonna be dropping that uh, Kangaskhan to minus two right away. Yeah, good lead from Dane here. Um, Salamence threatening a lot of damage on the Kyogre. Uh, Scrafty and Salamence obviously putting the Kang at minus two, making it completely irrelevant as a threat outside of Fake Out turn one. Right. Um, double Edge not gonna be doing much damage at all. Uh, low Kick from it not gonna be doing much either. Um, so pretty good lead here from Dane. Uh, I would have, I, I didn't expect him to bring the Salamence though. Um, Salamence does obviously doesn't doesn't kind of trick him very well, but it doesn't look like Evan has opted to to go the uh, trick him route either though. Right. So. As far as like switch outs for this Kangaskhan, do you, uh, what would you suggest maybe? Uh, you could possibly switch it into a, a Cresselia here. I doubt that a double edge and a knockoff is able to, to KO the, the Cresselia. Uh, you can get up Trick Room, try to fire off some attacks. Uh, actually, I'll just switch the Kyogre out here. Um, Heavy Rain has been lifted from the field into a Talonflame of all things. Uh, Mo Hawkeye, the Scrafty, coming back. Uh, for Dane here, bringing in his own Groudon here, gonna be replacing it with the uh, primordial, uh, the primordial <laughs> sun, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah, desolate land, desolate, know? desolate sea. <laughs> yeah, desolate sea. You know, <laughs> uh, uh, the Groudon switch here is very good. Um, yeah, immediately throws a rock side KO on the town flame. Kenny's kind of not gonna do any damage to it with a double edge. Yeah, as we do also see the uh, Salamence uh, Mega evolving here, uh, possibly able to uh, uh, get some more speed and fire off some uh, more attacks here. Uh, Kangaskhan also uh, mega evolving here, um, gonna be uh, possibly throwing out a, uh, a fake out onto one of Dane's Pokemon here. Um, protect uh, revealed from Salamence there, uh, not gonna be taking any damage from Kangaskhan. Uh, he actually opts to fake out the Groudon here, so kind of a, uh, a turn of uh, positioning it seems. Turn of positioning, fake out switch, um, not the most common play in the game. Um, yeah. <laughs> usually use fake out to set up something else. Um, uh, Dane here in an extremely good position. Um, double edge rock slide might be enough to KO the Kangaskhan. Um, Kyogre doesn't really want to switch in here very much because um, right. he might have to eat a double edge, eat a rock slide, eat a precipice blades. Uh, not not good for Evan at all. Um, uh, we actually do see the Tailwind go up for uh, Evan's side here, going to be able to double his team speed. So we also see the Salamence responding with his own Tailwind, going to be negating the effect of this uh, Talonflame here. Uh, Double Edge going to be going into that Salamence, not doing a whole lot of damage at minus two, uh, less than 50% there. Uh, for the Kangaskhan. Rock Slide gonna be uh, hitting both of Evan's Pokemon here. Gonna see uh, it is enough to pick up the knockout onto that Talonflame there um, and kind of kind of did its job and went away and then uh, yeah. got surprised by that Talon there. <laughs> yeah, the Talon from the Silence there matching ma matching Talon was an extremely good play from D from Dane. Yeah. Um, it doesn't allow uh, Kyogre to, to come in here for free and just and, and fire off any attack. Um, Kyogre is likely faster than the Groudon. Um, right. we, do, we don't know their exact speed tiers yet, um, but uh, Dane's still in a really good spot here. Double Edge threatens a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, could it, depending on the Kangaskhan's bulk investment and Dane's offensive investment, Double Edge could also threaten a KO onto the Kangaskhan. But True. honestly, letting letting Kangaskhan sit around is a pretty good idea at this point. It's not really doing any damage. Yeah, is is Evan? Do you think Evan's just keeping Kangaskhan and waiting for it to be sacked? I think he's. I think he's trying to bait Dane to like to uh, to take it out, and Dane's just not taking it out and installing any uh, any momentum Dane could be gaining here. I would have liked to have seen Evan maybe go for a Tailwind and and just directly switch into Kyogre instead of instead of relying on uh, on. Talon flame to be sacked because right. you, you get Kyogre, Kyogre and, and you get a, a fresh fake out with your uh, Kangaskhan as well. So we do see the switch out into the Scrafty, gonna be dropping uh, Kangaskhan a minus three attack now. Um, Kyogre also uh, getting the intimidate drop there. Uh, Salamence opting to protect. Um, I've been keeping his Kangaskhan in this turn, uh, going for a sucker punch, but uh, not able to connect with either Pokemon there. 
Uh, Origin Pulse going to be going into that Scrafty there. Um, critical hit. Um, not able to pick up a knockout, but doing quite a bit of damage here. Yeah, um, absolutely. From what I believe was revealed to be a uh, Assault Vest Scrafty from yesterday. Yeah, it was. Um, it's yeah, impressive. <laughs> yeah, a critical hit Origin Pulse still not taking out Scrafty is very impressive bulk investment from it. Um, the the Scrafty we're doing here is good. Uh, further nullifies any any threat that Kang has outside of getting a uh, new critical hits. Uh, threatens a fake out under the under the Kyogre. Uh, good turn there from Dane. Um, still in a less good position. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dane likely um, likely EV to be to be to be too it KO'd by it. Yeah. So we do see uh, Fake Out going into the Kyogre slot there. Uh, not gonna be able to do any damage there. Uh, Dane opting to go just go for the double edge into the Kangaskhan slot there. Um, gonna be enough to take it out in uh, one double edge there. Yeah. Finally putting Kangaskhan out of his out of its misery. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just been, he's been sitting there at minus three. It's just like uh. Just having a sad time. <laughs> yeah, Kang's kind of was not was not having a good day. Uh, the fake out under the Kyogre and the double edge was good. Uh, covered covered all, all of his options. Uh, do you think Palkia can maybe turn the tides here? Uh, we've seen it be really clutch and uh, take a few knockouts for Evan here. Uh, Palkia here isn't, isn't in a bad position, but it's not in a good position either. Um, the problem is that now uh, Evan is down to his last two Pokemon, so and Dane still has Groudon around, um, so. He, He's going to get uh, Sun up at some point here, mm -hmm. um, and he likely has the the Mewtwo as his fourth Pokemon, and Mewtwo threatens a lot of damage onto both of these Mons, right? Uh, and is, and is obviously faster than both of them too. <laughs> yeah, as we do see, um, both players opting to take a little bit extra time to select their moves here. Um, potential Ice Beam from the Salamence there, or from the Kyogre, actually opting to protect this turn. Um, double edge going into the Kyogre's Protect, Spatial Rend, um, actually going into that Salamence slot, gonna be, uh, enough to pick up the knockout there, um, and Scrafty still, uh, waiting to act this turn, uh, we'll see what kind of damage it opts to go for, um, Super Fang into the Palkia slot there, uh, trying to cover his options, uh, as we see both, uh, Tailwinds petering out here. Mm-hmm. Uh, very good, very good turn there from Dane. Um, he uh, the double edge, uh, if he, if he were to have gotten it off, would have done a lot of damage, um, and, w and would have put it into side strike range. Um, the super ring out of the Palkia does put Palkia now into uh, into side strike range as well. Um, so uh, side strike here um, definitely definitely threatening a lot of damage onto both mons. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see Dane switch his. His scrafty out and and to grout on here. Um, reset reset fake out again for later. Um, and, right. and, and and get and get sun up. Uh, probably see a side strike and into the Palkia slot as well. Uh, yeah, Mewtwo definitely threatening with its uh, ridiculously high speed stat here. Yeah, definitely being the fastest Pokemon on the field. Yeah. Uh, threatening with the side strike attack. Yeah, uh, side strike here is definitely his best option. Um, Mewtwo Mewtwo sort of works in this way where. Where uh, you have to be playing well to to be doing well with it, but obviously Dane is playing very very well today. Right. Uh, we actually do see a switch out of uh, Scrafty there into the Groudon, gonna be getting rid of that uh, rain permanently for this match, um, bringing in the Desolate Land. Uh, gonna be able to uh, stop any water type attacks coming. Uh, a Kyogre trying to double protect fails, uh, doing that there. Um, Dane actually just going into the Palkia slot there, gonna be able to pick up a knockout too. Um, uh, Kyogre not really able to do much this turn, and uh, yeah. it's uh, kind of lo looking grim for Evan right it's now. It's looking a little bit grim for Evan, yeah. Um, definitely not not what what Evan wanted to happen here. Um, Evan <laughs> Evan's uh, Evan's options were extremely limited because each game um, each game uh, Dane got out to a very a very a very early lead. Right. Um, Got the the weather advantage late and was just able to, to just clean up with uh, Mewtwo. Uh, as we do see uh, Psy Strike going into this uh, Kyogre slot here, uh, doing a lot of damage actually. Um, probably gonna see, we see actually a Fire Punch coming out from the uh, Groudon here. Still not almost enough. Almost picks it up. Almost picks up the knockout. Not quite. Uh, Kyogre able to fire off another Ice Beam uh, before the the turn's over at least. Yeah. So it looks like that uh, that's gonna be a game here. Um, good games from both. Uh, Dane moves on to finals of, yeah. the, of the of the Illinois midseason showdown. 
Um, he will be going up against uh, Steven Morioka, who uh, won last match. So this is a very, uh, very great Chicago matchup here. Steve, uh, yeah, uh, let's have uh, Steven versus uh, Brad uh, Wernacki on next. Oh, wait. Oh, I totally forgot. I'm sorry. Yeah. I feel bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I, I, didn't, I didn't say that. <laughs> but no. Yeah. No, it's because I, I, Steven was on stream earlier. I was like, oh, yeah, no, he's, he made it to finals already. <laughs> nah, but, no, but uh, we'll be, yeah, we'll be seeing uh, Steven versus Brad up next. So. Yep. Steven versus Brad up next. I. Uh, Spread the word, Twitter, Facebook, uh, showdown chat. <laughs> call your mom, tell her, <laughs> tell her to tune in, please. Please, yes, get get some more viewers. All right, uh, we'll we'll be catching you guys in a couple of minutes. Stay tuned. <laughs> 